In this analysis video, we're going to talk a bit more about the use and behavior of the planar slice tool in OpenBSP. So we'll start off with this same complex geometry that we had in the introduction video. And we'll go ahead and give it, say, a few more slices, in this case in the x direction, and let it go ahead and slice again. So in this case, we're going to hide the surface mesh and take a look at what's going on. And again, you'll notice that because this geometry has an outer surface, an inner surface, and then kind of wraps back around on itself again, that it's skipping these parts that are technically open or voids in the geometry. So again, planar slice is catching this stuff. Now, just like comp geom, the, the surface or the tessellation rather of the geometry itself is going to affect how accurate these area calculations are. So let's take a look at what happens if we come back to our stack geom and turn the numw tessellation way down, something like nine. This is pretty rough. If we slice again and again turn off that uh, surface mesh, you can see how faceted this all is because it is using that geometry that's shown on the screen. Now, that just means that if you want to have a very accurate area calculation of each of these pieces of geometry, you have to turn up the tessellation in the W direction and in the U direction. Let's go ahead and delete that and do another demonstration. So let's show the component. We're going to turn the tessellation back up so that we have a nice smooth geometry here. And let's hit this again. So we'll start slicing and now We've done this a number of times in the X direction. We don't really want to belabor the point, but let's see what happens if we do this a different way. Let's come to the mesh geom. We're gonna turn off the slices in this case, and this resulting triangulated mesh is basically what you would get out of say comp geom. Now, you don't only have the option of running planar slice on an open VSP Bezier component. You can do this on meshes. So let's turn the axis to a y-axis slice, which is basically right here down the middle. We're gonna turn off auto. We're only gonna slice one. And so let's pick the value right down the center line. Watch what happens. We're gonna start slicing. And so what results here, again, is this full mesh because every single time it's going to mesh the entire component and then slice it because it needs to know where the surface normals are pointing to make sure that it can compute things appropriately. But let's turn this off. So now, if we shade this, that is effectively that cross section that we pulled out of a mesh rather than the geometry itself. So you can imagine how useful this can be if, say, an advanced demonstration of this topic, you have an imported mesh from a scan or CAD or for some other geometry source, and you want to slice that mesh to be able to pull out things like, oh, the spline in the X and Z direction, or if you want to pull out cross-section information for a fuselage or airfoil shapes along a wing. You can do that with planar slice and turn these things into curves and points that you can then use for fit model. Now that's a more advanced topic for another video tutorial, but be aware that that is an application of this process. So not only can you slice any one of the OpenVSP geometry components, you can also run this process on meshes.